one in five United Methodist churches in the Holston Conference, which does include East Tennessee, will leave the denomination. Church leaders voted this past weekend to let 264 congregations disaffiliate. 10 News reporter Grace King explains why they are choosing to leave. Holston Conference leaders describe this split as a divorce. While they still share many of the same values, they couldn't get past, cer past certain differences. This is a heavy moment for many here. In a somber vote, if you were in favor, the Holston Conference voted to let 264 churches leave the denomination. This motion has been approved. That represents about 31% of the total churches in this conference, or about four times as many as the national average. In the South, we find ourselves in an area uh, that is, is filled with more conservative, more traditional people. Reverend Tim Jones says the debate largely boils down to LGBTQ issues. Currently, the Book of Discipline uh, states that um, practicing homosexuality is incompatible with Christian teaching. That language could become more inclusive during the General Conference in 2024. The churches that are leaving tend to be more on the traditional side, and uh, they're just um, not having, not wanting to have the conversation anymore. United Methodist leaders wish that wasn't the case. We acknowledge that our inability to continue on the journey together in the same denomination is a sign of human brokenness. Still, they say that won't deter them from moving forward. The fact that some churches will be disaffiliating and some churches will be withdrawing does not in any way change the impact that they have had upon us. Now, if that Book of Discipline language does change next year, the Holston Conference says they expect more churches to reevaluate whether they want to stay or leave. Robin and John. All right, Grace King on the story for us. Grace, thank you very much.